did not prepare himself to the best of his ability. Uh, Chris Ariola, this is practically a home game. He's from nearby Riverside, San Bernardino. Now he's on fight night in Versus. On Versus, and we'll see him right after this. We're back, San Jacinto, California. It's fight night on Versus. Nick Charles, Wally Matthews, ringside, and wherever you're watching, join in. It's going to be fun. It promises to be. Log on to www.versus.com slash scorecard and score the fights with us tonight on Fight Night. Small ring. Look at these heavyweights. They're taking it all up, Wally. Well, obviously, they're not going to have to look for each <laughs> other. And you see uh, there are the two gentlemen right there, Ariola, 24-0, 21 KO. So, obviously, he's a big puncher. And uh, Israel Garcia, 19-1. and one. The loss to Torres Sykes, and we see him right there, 38 years old, knows that this can well, turn everything around for him. Yeah, he turned pro at uh, 215 pounds. Areola last was 250 plus at, in 2005, and his trainer doesn't like the fact that he came in at 258. But Areola with a big show of support here at Saboba. He lives in the vicinity, but he's got to keep his mind focused on Israel Garcia, who is a prohibitive underdog. All righty, we'll remind you of the uh, tail of the tape. First of all, you see the uh, huge difference in age there, 11 years in favor of Areola. The height, pretty negligible. The weight, again, a big factor perhaps here, 258 and a half for Areola. He was 239 for his signature performance against Chaz Witherspoon a few months ago, and the reach just about the same. And there you see the unified rules, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Only the referee can stop the fight, and neither fighter can be saved by the bell in any round. Our first night of the, of the first fight of the night here, fight night on versus. Let's meet both fighters now as we go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and welcome to the Saboba Casino here in San Jacinto, California. Well, fans, we have a big night of action coming away, and it's all brought to you by Goose and Tudor Promotions in association with the Saboba Casino. At this time, we present a championship attraction about also made possible by Debella Entertainment, and it is sanctioned by the WBC President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor in Attendance Rudy Tellez. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside, Marty Denkin, Raul Caiz Jr., and Lou Filippo. Introducing our third man in the ring, a referee in charge of this bout, we have Dr. Lou Moret. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing for the WBC Continental Americas Heavyweight Championship. Introducing to you first, the challenger. He is on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and white trunks, hailing from New York City in New York. He weighed in at 246 pounds. His fine record stands at 19 wins, one loss, with 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the challenger, Israel King Kong Garcia. And his opponent across the ring on my left is the defending champion, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with silver trim, hailing from Riverside, California. He weighed in at 258 and one half pounds. He is undefeated through his campaign in the heavyweight ranks with a record of 24 wins, no losses, 21 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the defending WBC Continental America's heavyweight champion, the undefeated Cristobal, the Nightmare Arreola. Once again, a referee in charge, Dr. Lou Moret, now to give instructions, 10 rounds of boxing scheduled. Okay, gentlemen, I'm giving you instructions. The dress room right here is fine. Below this is a little low, okay? Shake hands and turn your corner and wait the bell. Hey, hold on tight for this one. No. Chris Ariola will be moving forward, as we said, testing Garcia's heart early. And Garcia said he knows he'll be coming. Garcia completely untested at this level. No wins over gatekeepers or trial horses. 
but he has sparred with some big names. This is a different story. He's in a small ring with the unbeaten Chris Ariola. I don't think either one of these guys are inclined to use a heck of a lot of the ring anyway. <laughs> Ariola goes to the body, sinks a left hand there right away. Garcia's got to get on that jab, Wally. You know, we uh, called his fights recently, and he gets into rumble situations. Yeah, it's, and it's never wise to fight the other guy's fight. I mean, let's face it, Ariola's fight is a brawl. It's an inside back, fight. It's the fight you're seeing right now. And the way for Garcia to give himself a chance is just to try to take Ariola out of that he's, fight. He's got to get off the ropes. His corner does not want Garcia where he is now. Ariola just able to pick his shots right now. But Chris Ariola in the white starting extremely slow for him. Well, again, you know, we'll go back to the weight, and I'm sure we're gonna, we'll be harping on it the longer the fight goes. But, uh, you know, I asked him today, is it fair to a fight fans to question your discipline? And he said, yeah, it is. He goes, I question it myself sometimes. Uh, yeah, he said he was up to 278. He said he was pushing barbells and pushing burritos in his mouth, is how he put it. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, really, there has to be said, something has to be said for the way you present yourself, even if you feel like you don't have to train to your best fitness to oh, be no a particular doubt. guy. How about the way you present yourself to the public? Well, bottom line, Henry Ramirez said to, in front of Chris Ariola, his best weight's 235, 240. Oh, and nice double. There's three, four left hooks, and Garcia says, you didn't touch me. But he went to the body with the left, followed up. Oh, he touched left him to right. the head. He now Ariola banging a body. He's a combination punch, not a real single shot power guy, uh, Wally. No, nothing pretty. You know, he does nothing really flashy or impressive, except that he keeps coming. He's a heavy puncher, and he does punch in combinations. I like that he attacks from all angles when he's dead fit. We've seen him fit against Damian Wills. We've seen him against Chaz Witherspoon, his last fight, and here comes Garcia absorbing a lot of shots, so Ariola with tons of free shots. Garcia looks a little, he's got to get into this fight. Well, the thing is, nervous. Garcia has done nothing to get any respect from Ariola yet, and he's got it. I think he's a little unhinged. You know, this is the biggest fight of his life. Well, it's not like Ariola's doing anything he didn't expect. They had him pegged, and we talked to him today. They knew exactly what Ariola was going to do. And, you know, you know they're prepared for it. They just may not be physically prepared for it. Well, Wally, already, I, this is not the usual Chris Ariola. He fights, it, to me, at a much faster clip. But it's early. Oh, nice combination. Boy, Garcia's got a chin, I'll say that. He has been tested for beard here in the first. All right, here's the best punch of the first round for Chris Ariola. You see the left uppercut, and I'll tell you what, Garcia's got to do a better job of establishing distance in this round, Nick. Boy, that is Ariola's signature combination. He has really, really done well with that, Molly. Now, this is what Garcia needs to do, establish some distance with that jab, because if he allows Ariola to stay close like that, he's not going to be around very long. He's got to box him. Ariola would like to be inside. If he's got to be inside, he's got to be winning inside, and he has been all through that blistering first round when he opened up. Well, the other thing, you know, it would be wise for Garcia to try to take Chris Ariola as deep into this fight as he can because we know there are questions about the conditioning of Ariola. You yeah. certainly don't want to let him be comfortable in there. Try to make him work a little bit outside his comfort zone and get him tired if you can. I question that only because Garcia's never been beyond six. I don't know how equipped he is to go deep. <laughs> Well, well, then, on further review, we better get in there and slug it out. <laughs> they gave him the Bronx cheer here, didn't they, in California? <laughs> the kid from Harlem, actually originally from Brooklyn. He's just getting over his morning of the Yankees defeat, <laughs> big Yankee fan. You can see right there, the numbers do not lie. Ariola just taking his time, and Wally, you're hitting on what you said. You know, he's there to be hit, Garcia. Why not? Yeah, There's right that uppercut. Up Hook uppercut all night. It's there. And Garcia's not wrapping him up. What should he be doing? But by the way, <laughs> Garcia snuck his own right uppercut in there, and it did kind of slow down Ariola briefly. Let's see. I mean, you know. Good point. And let's watch for the hook from Garcia. That's his best punch. Left hook to the body. 
Yeah. So, Wally, agree or disagree? Should he be there? You want him to establish Absolutely distance? Absolutely not. I think yeah. I just said that. But you know what? Well, but if he he's hasn't got the legs to, to uh, well, he is scoring there. But you don't fight the other guy's fight. It's never a smart thing to do, especially when the other guy fights that fight better than you do. You see what I mean? Getting tagged a lot. That's good work by Ariola. Ariola with three shots. He's picking off there. Uh, Garcia, who's raising the ropes at his back. He's in the corner, not trying to fight his way out to the middle of the ring. He's really taking flush shots, though. Not only that, Ariola is leaning all of that 258 pounds on and making it very difficult for Garcia to get out of the corner. Garcia, 246, is a big boy himself. Stop holding, guys. Let him go. See, there's the hugging and holding a little bit you don't see from Ariola. Yeah, this is when not he's the fight. Yeah, well, I agree with that, but this is not the fight Garcia should be fighting. This is like a monster trucks uh, exhibition. He's taking too many, too many clean hits. You gotta let his hands go inside. Uh, he doesn't have the combination speed that Ariola does. 